Hi friends, this is Audi One and you are watching part 14 of the SQL Lab series. For those who are watching this for the first time, I strongly recommend that you go back and watch the other part of the series. Today we are going to take up the injection in the update query and we will be building up on the knowledge we shared in the previous lessons. To demonstrate the injection in the update query, I have built up a small page. It says password reset. So assuming that a user has logged in or he is on the password reset page and he just provides a new password so that that can be updated in the database. Again. As usual, we'll start to enumerate the application and start to provide it with some kind of inputs. So let's say admin, we know admin is a user and let's provide a password 123456. And it said successfully updated your password. Let's check the same in the MySQL, select star from users where username equals admin because we update the password of admin and the password is updated to 123456 let's try one more time admin and the password 1234567 submit and let's try on the back end if it has worked 1234567 let's try to now fuzz the application let's use single quotes and see if something happens and we get a message bug off let's try double quotes the same message slash the same message but when we said admin we did not get the message now let's try a single quotes in the password field so okay we get an error message now let's try to think of the query what the developer has thought of what we have learned so far that the username field is essential in order to inject or in order to change the password so this is the same from the previous lesson and let's try to build up the query that that is being used in the back end of lesson 17 so update users set password equals we'll say some variable where user name equals admin actually it's some variable but I'm just hard coding it now for admin let's try this query out and see whether this is how it works update users set password equals one two three four let me just enclose it assuming this is a string where username equals admin 
and it says query is okay one row affected rows matched one changed one and password is changed back to one two three four let's check the table select star from users so we have eight entries with some different passwords a word of caution here if you are trying to pen test a production application please be very careful when you are doing an injection on the update because one wrong move and the whole database will be wiped you will be updating the passwords of each and every user in the database so please be careful please practice this and please try to master it in the test environment and only do it in a pen test if you feel comfortable so as previously discussed our main objective or the first objective is to try to enumerate and try to build up the query including how the developer has enclosed the strings whether he has used single quotes double quotes so i am just trying to do that and let me use the escape character here and let's just copy this error message we just see admin and we just see single quotes this time around we are not seeing any other thing as we are seeing before well let's try something else again the same message so we'll use a guess because admin is probably the username and is being enclosed in single quotes so 99.99 percent .99 chance that the password some variable is also enclosed inside the single quotes and this is where our injection is going to happen so let's come back and let's try to do the old tricks that we did apostrophe or one equals one and let's comment out okay successfully updated your password cool let's go back and check the status of the database wow we try to change the password of admin but somehow we did a sql injection and it changed the password of every user why is that so well the answer is simple let's copy this and instead of some variable let's use our input we said apostrophe or one equals one and we use the hash so technically we are just saying update the users table and set password equals and this will return true because one equals one would return a true value and then comment out everything so where username equals admin is never evaluated and you are just updating the password of each and every user replacing it with one so 
So we have figured out what the injection is, what is the left side of the injection, what is the right side of the injection and we know clearly the injection point inside. Right? Cool. Let's continue. Now building from the previous double quarry injection, let's use double quarry to dump the information. Why we are using the double quarry to dump the information? Because it's an update quarry and it is not interacting with us. It does not tell us what has been updated. The database is not interacting. So whatever is the query, forgetting for one second what the query is, the scenario looks similar to a double query injection where the database is not interacting with the page but the only way to dump the database is through the SQL errors, through this error. So let's try that out. So we have this as an injection point and we just replace this injection with a double query injection. Let's see if it works. Username is admin. Bingo. We got what we wanted, the username. Well, what did I do? I did nothing special. I just followed the basics. If you see, there's no difference between what I injected in the update query and what I had done in the double injection. The only difference is in the double quote injections, the developer had used the double quotes to encapsulate the variables. But in this injection, in the update query, the developer has used the single quotes. Everything else remains the same. So if you are, you stick to your basics, and you are confident about your MySQL syntax that what you are doing is correct then you can achieve anything. Let's try something else. The other query. And we get the data DIR. Let's try something else. And we just have to escape with the single quotes. I didn't copy that. the Ubuntu version and so forth. What all you want to extract, just put in, in this query, in the primary query or the sub query and everything would be dumped out. Isn't it simple? The only thing is you have to think logical and you have to be confident of what you are doing. 
well this is all for this video thank you very much guys please leave the feedback feedback would help me improve myself improve the quality of my videos and motivate to make more videos thank you very much bye bye